Hey guys, what's up? I haven't seen you guys since last year. What's up? Happy New Year. I haven't uploaded since last year and I took like a week off. And you're probably like, Emma, why did you take a week off? Well, I didn't, but I just didn't upload. So I guess I kind of did take a week off, except for that I didn't mean to take a week off because I was working on stuff. It's just that I hated all of it. Let me explain. I filmed three videos and edited a decent portion of each, Shut up. but I ended up hating each video. So I filmed three videos that I didn't like in a row. So starting out 2019 with a bang, hating all my content that I produced. Each video that I filmed was like decent like it wasn't bad it wasn't awful but it just wasn't up to par so I had the idea to throw all my favorite footage from each video into one video and make this video my deleted videos these are my deleted videos hi I'm home for the holidays which is you know fun that was huge. I'm here for like five days, which is the longest I've been home for a long time. Usually I come home for like two days and then have a mental breakdown and then have to leave. Um, first thing I'm doing is going to Target. Oh my god, I'm shooting with my friend Lily tomorrow. We're taking photos at sunrise. 6.30 a.m. So I have to wake up really early tomorrow. Yeah. Time to conquer. Are you cringing that I said that? No. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yeah, I'm like getting socially awkward. I like can't do that. Oh my god, there's tons in there. This is my worst nightmare. If your mom bought you these when you were little, fuck you, because my mom never fucking bought me these. Why the fuck didn't you buy me those yogurts? Because they're bad for you. What did you feed me instead? Rice cakes. <laughs> I will never go to Target again. That was awful. Now I'm in the car being a big fat baby, so... They didn't have any fucking wrapping paper left. Nothing left. So now I have to go to like CVS or something. Oh my God, the holidays are too much. Let's try this again. Oh, this is, oh my God. This is insane compared to the other store. Come on. Oh my God, is this fucking denim? That's trendy. You like that? I mean, you can get that for you, but I will not wrap a gift in that. No, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get something for I the I think dogs. plaid's kind of fun. It's I'm just gonna get something for I the I think dogs. plaid. I'm just gonna get something for I think plaid. Should I get some bows? Do you think I need bows though? I mean like, am I just being difficult? Like, I don't know. I don't need it, but. But why these colors? Oh my God, these are perfect. I love the Santa. Okay. You don't like this? Why are you acting like you're being an actor? Like you're like putting on a face like, hey, do you like that? <laughs> it's 5.45 a.m. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna be okay. I will be okay. It's fine. Okay. I'm off. Doing my makeup. <laughs> okay, let's go. I got back from taking pictures and I took a very fat nap. I slept for literally seven hours. Now I have to get ready because I'm going to my family's Christmas Eve party, so. Oh, Christmas! That was epic. <laughs> Look, it's like a jewel. A jewel? What it's the like, hell are you talking about? Jewel? Like a decoration like, jewel. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, see, I know what you're thinking. What kind of jewel you're thinking about? J U U L. Okay, now it's what? Like, oh my God, the shoes that those socks is a total mood. Okay, so for some context, my grandpa posted on his Insta story this picture of Pizzelles that he made. I don't even know what a Pizzelle is, but whatever. And not only did he post it on his Instagram story, but he also posted it on his Instagram feed. We obviously did not approve of this because we know that socially that's not okay. Well, I took it upon myself to confront him. And here's that. We need to have a talk. About? It's about your Instagram. The Pizzelles? 
I noticed that you made an Instagram recently. So far, you're doing pretty good. You already made a post and you posted your special treat, which right. I did eat and right. did enjoy. The only thing that I'm wondering is, why did you post it on Instagram and on your Instagram story? I had no idea what I was doing. Guys, right, it's good news. It was an accident. He didn't mean to post it on both. Yay! Yay! My grandma asked me if I would try on my outfit that I used to wear when I'd go swimming. So I tried it on. I don't want to talk about it. I just got back from my family's Christmas Eve party thing and it's fucking go time because guess who's coming tonight? Santa, motherfuckers. Sadly, I don't have a tree, but we do have this. It's pretty small. Kick this out of the way. No need for that now, do we? So yeah, these are from Santa for me. I'm really excited to open them. Hopefully there's like a trust fund in there or something. Look at all my animals lurking around. Why do I have so many? You're never satisfied, Emma. Okay, well, let's not talk about my childhood trauma. I usually write a letter to Santa, but I mean, now that I'm a little bit older, I think I have too much swag to do something like that, so. I'm way too fucking cool for that shit now. It's fucked, so. Okay, I think we should give him two cookies just so that, you know, we keep him healthy. Wow! Thank you, Santa! Let me also try this nog. Let's see if it's any good. Mm, that's very enjoyable. Let's try one of Santa's cookies. He won't mind. That's it. Why am I eating Santa's snacks? Don't wave that finger at me. You're naughty. What do you mean? Oh my god. You ate his cookies and drank his nog. I don't give a fuck. I just woke up from a nap. Oh god. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm picking up my friend Grace. We're gonna go get Phil's. I told myself that when I came home this time, I was gonna like go on a run every morning. I did not go on one run. Once. So that fucking didn't happen. But when I get back to LA, I'll get my shit back together. I trust myself. Oh no! Oops. Huh? What? <laughs> Sorry, my camera's also shaking extremely bad. It's just part of car vlogging. I know I don't really car vlog anymore because I don't have any to fucking drive. I don't drive anywhere. Maybe I'll try to start driving more places in LA as a New Year's resolution for you guys. We'll see. Probably not. <laughs> Almost at Grace's house. I haven't really vlogged a lot while I've been home. Probably because I've just been fucking sleeping. Yeah, you really didn't vlog a lot at home. You didn't vlog enough for a full video, now did ya? Now look where we are. Now look what we're doing now. All I need right now is fills and then I'll be okay. I just farted. Don't get in it yet. I'm not even kidding. No! No, 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 no! What do you want to do now? Want to go shopping? I do not need clothes. But I want clothes. Maybe Dip our toe get in there. AirPods. Maybe get AirPods. Big, big flex. Fuck, I should have brought my fucking iPad. Because I got an iPad from James for Christmas and then it glitched and locked me out of it and then now I can't get into it. So I have to take it to the Apple store and get it reset. Like, did you set the wrong password? Yes. I don't want to talk about it. Like, who the fuck? Locks himself out of an that's iPad. What I'm wondering. I really didn't want to believe that's what you did. No, I literally did it. I am wasting money. It's the day after Christmas. I thought I'd buy myself some gifts. What do you think about that, Grace? Magic cream. We were <laughs> I'm gonna make it a try on haul, but that just means I have to try things on when I get home, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine because I care about you guys. Well, you said it, so it's happening. Oh, I said it, so it's happening. I got these cargo pants. How the fuck do I show this shit? They're light wash and shit. There you go. Hopefully they fit. I didn't try any of this on. Next, I got this. I just got this because I like the color. The button down, and it's the color's pretty epic. I think it's gonna be really cute. Who knows You're if right. I- right. They're not as soft anymore. Dude, literally, Brandy took their quality down a peg. Like, the shit's not as soft as it used they to be. Dude, there's not even close to as level of fuzzies anymore. Then I got these jeans because, like, fuck it. I just like jeans. Comment down below if she already has these because I know you definitely I have probably something do, similar. I probably do, but I just, you know, I thought it was good. Okay, next, I'm so excited about this. This shit's cute as fuck. It's cute as fuck. Cute as fuck. I am so sorry. Are you okay? No. Okay, so I got this corduroy puffy jacket. I'm probably never gonna wear it because it's always too hot in LA as every bitch says when they do a fucking haul and they're like, it's too hot in LA to wear that. Why well, just did it too? So then I got these. Okay, this is questionable. We knew. It's these fucking like sweat shorts. It might be Brandy's way of announcing their boys collection. Hi, I'm not at my house, but that's okay because I don't like being at my house because I don't like being alone because I have issues with being by myself. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm excited for this year because this last year was fucking insane. A lot of shit happened to me. I'm putting my hood on because I don't look good right now and I need to hide it. It was a great year for me. I did have a lot of mental breakdowns, but besides that, it was a really great year. And I had an idea. I wanted to do a special fun special for the new year. <coughs> I had the idea to react to myself from a year ago. 
I have changed a fuck ton this year. Like, I started out this year blonde and just different. Like, when I watch videos of myself from a year ago, I'm like, who the fuck was that? I gathered a bunch of documentation of me from a year ago, and I thought that I would react to it today. And then we just see how much I've changed this year and compare and contrast. It's like a scientific video, so let's get into it. Sorry, I look really ugly, but that's not my fault. Maybe I take these off? Yeah, whatever, I'll take them off. First thing we're gonna be reacting to from a year ago is my Instagram. This is probably gonna be the least shocking because I feel like I'm pretty similar, except for I did a lot more photo shoots and I probably tried a little bit harder. Now I gave up. So, I remember this photo shoot like it was yesterday. I did a shoot with my dad. I used to do photo shoots with my dad all the time. I wanted Instagram photos and I didn't know any photographers. Now I know photographers. Personal growth. I loved this photo of myself for no fucking reason. My style was okay. Like, I mean, I'm wearing like a decent jacket and like wearing a trendy beanie. I mean, like, I'm not cringing. The glasses are a little bit cringe. I just wouldn't wear those now. I also love this photo of myself. Okay. Why was I so conceited? Things have changed. My self-esteem has plummeted. I literally would force my dad to wake up at like 6 a.m. and go shoot with me so that I could have Instagram photos. And then I'd post 90 photos in the same outfit. And that was probably really annoying. Also, for some reason, I guess I didn't have captions on these photos. I still don't do that. I'm not good at Instagram captions. Some things never change. <laughs> okay, this next photo has a caption. Thinking about Toontown. All right. I mean, I did like Toontown. Not really at that time, though. I think I was just trying to, like, be quirky and talk about Toontown as if I still liked it, which I didn't. Whatever. This is kind of a boring video so far. Starting 2019 out right. This is also weird because 2019 is my graduation year. I already graduated high school. I graduated a year early. But this was supposed to be my grad year, so congrats to me. Okay. Still fucking talking about Toontown. And I literally edited this photo on Visco and put grain on it. That's so embarrassing. I really was obsessed with having a feed back then, apparently. Felt cute in this LOL, might delete soon. <laughs> Annoying. Wow, my hair looked really good. It was all wavy and shit, what the fuck? Cannot relate right now. Wow, my hair looked so good. What was I doing differently? That's disgusting and annoying. When you're about to defeat a cog in Toontown and your uncle comes in and says he needs to use the computer to buy an alligator illegally online. What the fuck does that mean? I probably thought that was funny too. That's like really sad. The photo's good. Like, I'm not mad about the photo. I don't like look that cringe in that. Mm, I mean a little bit. Oh my God, and I'm wearing the poopy jacket. The OG. I've gotten a lot of poopy jackets since then. Also, funny thing that I'm remembering while looking at these photos, I was reading through some of the comments and it's so funny because back then, no one hated me. Now, people do hate me, so that's okay though. I guess I asked for it, I don't know. I have a lot more hashtag haters now, so whatever. The photo of me at Denny's. Okay, in the poopy jacket. Rock bottom. Yes, this was rock bottom. I was a mess in the beginning of last year. I also have friends now. I didn't really have friends. Cheers to me for making some friends. That's good. Thanks for being my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we're gonna react to my Twitter. Twitter has this thing where you can only scroll back so far to like a certain point and then it cuts off and then you have to download your archive. I didn't want to do that because I'm really fucking lazy. So I could only scroll back to March, which is still the beginning of last year. So I thought I'd just react to a few of those. And then I somehow found a screenshot of a tweet that I tweeted. So we're just gonna react to those few tweets that I have. First, let's talk about my fucking avatar. What the fuck was that? Also, Lil Moop, like I know I don't know, I just don't want to talk about it. Also, my username was different. My Twitter has glowed the fuck up. My fucking profile picture now is way fucking better. I've been crying for four days with like 20 minute breaks in between. I'm not even that sad, I just can't stop. That was a lie, I was sad. Hi, so lately I've been sleeping like two hours a night and I need to stop with that because it's making me sick as fuck constantly so I can't upload today. And after today I'm only uploading Thursdays and Sundays which literally makes me cry but it has to happen. I'm sorry, I love you. Little did I know that at one point I would now only upload like once a week maximum. So like, honestly, that's generous back then. All right, now to some of the tweets from March. Pesto is magic. I don't know anyone who doesn't like it. You can't not like it. That's true as fuck. Oh my god, why is this kind of funny? Me after one glass of milk? Who's up? I'm drunk tweeting. That's good. I've tried cow's milk twice in my life. Okay, no one gives a fuck. So, moving on from Twitter. Alright, next we're gonna look at some shit from my camera roll, because I thought that would be kind of fun. Okay, crying. Crying. When people comment and tell you to come- Oh my god, this is when I started getting hate. I didn't understand how to deal with it. Still don't, but I'm better now. I can't believe I used to cry over that shit. I don't cry over it now. Well, Pants. Oh my god, me still crying. I'm just emotional. Okay, me with Phil's. That's heartwarming. Oh my god, more crying. Okay, me with my cat. That's mood. I fucking miss my cat. Why the fuck did I screenshot this meme? This is literally a Chex Mix ad, and I thought that their ad was funny. What the fuck? That's sad. What the fuck is that? I'm literally, I'm done. I don't want to look at this anymore. Let's go to my snap memories. This is actually the last thing we're going to be looking through, so this video is almost over. Thank God, right? This was when I get hit in the face with the Nerf gun. That shit hurted. Okay, me eating a burrito. Oh 
my god, I miss the burritos from the Bay Area. Fuck. Okay, this is me in the gym listening to someone brag about how they go to Yale and travel a lot. Ha ha. I feel stupid and poor. Ha ha. Uh, yeah, that shit still makes me feel stupid and poor. Literally, why was I so obsessed with getting my dog's germs into my mouth? Me dyeing my hair blonde, cannot relate, don't do that anymore. Being blonde was definitely crackhead hours. Like, I was a fucking crackhead when I dyed my hair blonde. Just didn't look good for me. I know a lot of you guys miss it and stuff and tell me that, but I don't miss it, so sorry. Sometimes I do, though, because blondes have more fun. Just kidding, I had way more fun once I became brunette. talk about it. I'm, I am. <laughs> what? All I know is that my teeth were way fucking straighter back then and I'm so triggered. They look way better. Hey guys, what's up? Just chiming in for my bed. I haven't brushed my hair in like two days. Don't give a fuck. I was just asking. What? Okay, I'm done. Okay, I look bad. Really bad. Here's what we're doing today. I'm gonna be doing makeup that looks like this. And you're probably like, Emma, why? I think it would be fun. All I know is I wanna make myself look like that. I don't know why I like the way it looks so much and I wanna see how it would look on me. I'm really even curious if you guys are gonna see this concerning my last two videos were thrown away into the trash, straight into the trash where they belong. So it's really interesting to think like, am I wasting my time right now? Is this even gonna hit the internet? Let's talk about New Year's resolutions. I don't have any because I don't believe in that bullshit. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it when you wanna do it, not when you already are gonna, um, um, you're not gonna just do it because it's a new year. You're, you would have already done it. Does that make sense, ladies and gents? Do you know what I thought would be kind of fun? Is to talk about 18 things that I learned in 2018. Wow, I look fucking awful. This video is a mess. Let's start with the things that I learned this year. Don't dye your hair black if you're pale. Around June of this year, I dyed my hair black. I looked like fucking Snape from Harry Potter. It was awful and ugly. Second thing I learned is music festivals are not fun. It's always a waste of money and time, but I'm still gonna go to Coachella this year, so. Do bald people actually like wash their heads like with shampoo or do they just use body wash? Let's try to find a blush palette. Do I even have one? I don't know. Oh my god, I have blush. I have blush! Okay, this is not as hard as I thought. Oh my god, I'm having fun. What if this becomes my new thing? Okay, wait, I might have put too much. Did I put too much? I don't fucking know. The fifth thing I learned this year is to wear your fucking retainer. I didn't listen to this this year, and now my teeth are crooked again, and I had braces for five years. So I'm paying what some people like to call a huge price. <laughs> Let's keep working, ladies. Sorry, I'm jumping all around the place with this video, but at least we're starting out 2019 kind of in a bad place so that we can only go from here. QA, I'm low-key doing good so far. I'm kind of getting nervous. Because once I start doing good at something, then the pressure's on. Next, I'm going to be using James Charles Morphe palette. Thank you, James. Got this in PR. Like a fucking sandwich. Back to what I learned this year, because that's what we're doing. I don't really know where I'm going with this. I'm kind of distracted, honestly. Okay, so I did bad job on the freckles. Whatever. Another thing I learned this year, pick your friends up from the airport. Why? Because then they'll pick you up from the airport. Clean groomed eyebrows have left the fucking chat. I'm kind of starting to look like the Grinch on accident and I'm kind of scared, but whatever. Am I doing a good job? How do these girls fucking do this shit? Feeling like an Another thing that I learned this year is that dairy is so fucking bad. It's bad for your skin. It's bad for your stomach pain. It just makes everything worse. Is it sad? Yes. Do I want a quesadilla? Of course I want a quesadilla. I look fucking weird. Oh my god, I just spilled glitter fucking everywhere. Uh. Another thing I learned this year. Breakfast burritos. Another thing I learned. Avoid mana. This year I got mana. And it was disgustingly awful. Do not drink out of anybody else's glass. Don't ever kiss anyone. I don't care if you have a boyfriend. I literally don't care. Oh, this is important. Acrylic nails are not fucking worth it. I know that they look pretty. And I know that you think that it's a good idea. Well, let me be the first to tell you that it's not a good idea. And that acrylic nails 
nails are the reason for my depression. depression. I had acrylic nails for like probably six months. I just kept getting them refilled, 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 whatever, and I never let my nails breathe. Well, fast forward to now, my nails started to die on me. I was going to the salon, and every time they were putting the nails on, I would literally have the worst pain in my hands. Like, my nails were literally constantly throbbing. So, one day, I was sick of it, and I was like, I don't even care about having acrylics anymore. And I had bruises under my acrylics. And I think it was because they were so long that they kept banging into stuff. At this point, I had bruises under all my nails. I'm sick of it. I was like, I don't even want to go back to the salon because they just make the pain in my hands worse. So, I'm just going to take them off myself. Well, this was a mistake. Because, as you can see, it ripped my nails completely off. Like, my nail cuts off right here. And my hands look awful. It looks like I bite my nails down to the fucking end. It looks so bad. And the problem is, is that, like, it's not my fault. It's been upsetting. Okay, my eye look is kind of random and stupid, but... My macaroni? It's not macaroni. Okay, I had a few more things on my list, but fuck reading those because I'm really sick of it and no one's entertained by those anyway. So let's do winged eyeliner instead. I don't, I can't. So that's, it's gonna be fu fuck. Okay. What even brand is this eyeliner? I think, I got this from Forever 21. That's like really, really unpromising. Is that even a word? Unpromising? Holy shit, it is. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Do I have a ghost in my apartment? That's the best winged eyeliner I've ever done. 2019 is good. 2019 is good. Fuck. There's always that one eye, you know. Oh wait, fuck. Um, uh, holy shit, that's disgusting. It looks like a fucking spaceship. I feel bad for myself. Like it's, this is like really sad. And I don't even have like fake eyelashes or anything to like spice this shit up. Like this is just kind of what it's gonna be like. Do you know what this is? This whole thing is just a deer makeup tutorial. This is a Bambi makeup tutorial. Wait, who do I just look like? Do I look like Pee Wee Herman? Mickey Mouse dressed up. Who is dressed up like an animal? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <gasps> um, oh my God. It's something with Dr. Seuss, I think. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put my mascara on. Why am I trying to do a fucking montage right now? <sighs> I think the problem with me and things that are related to art, I've never had the patience to do it. It always starts out really good and then by the end it's just really bad. And that's why I only did art freshman year when it was easy and then dropped out the second year because the teacher actually started to care. Not good. Maybe they just have a short attention span. I'm not doing this again. I don't really look good. We didn't expect that. Kind of wanted to look like a little bit more majestic than usual. Didn't really succeed with that. Overall, this video might also go in the scrap pile. But if you saw it, that means there's something okay in it. Okay, bye.